In this video we're going to look at how we take buildings from Blender and bring them into Unity and apply the texture to the image to the building so we can see them clearly in Unity how we modeled them in Blender. It's um, a pretty simple process to go through but there's a lot of steps to do for it so what I'll do is I'm going to open up my Blender project and you can see here I've just modeled out a shipping container here from just some photographs which I took down at the um, waterfront um, a few weeks ago. You can see here on the left hand side I've got my UV map which I um, unwrapped and then I packed the islands and then I exported that image as a PNG to Photoshop like I demonstrated last week and is on that other video tutorial. In Photoshop I've modeled up the textures over the um, UV map um, which came through from Blender and in Blender I've applied it back to my model here so it's all ready for me to go to Unity with this um, project file. A couple of things I want you to think about over in the right hand side when we look at the property inspector over here. You'll notice that I've deleted both the camera and the light elements from the scene collection and that's because there's already a light and a camera inside Unity so if I export it in and take it in with those properties then um, I'll have two cameras and two lights to work with which I which I don't want. The other thing which I've done with my um, texture map here is I've also created a thing called a normal and what I'm going to show you is what a normal texture looks like. Um, so I've got my container PNG which is my texture map here and I've also in Photoshop created a normal of that image and what that normal does is it creates a little bit of, of texture in the model in Unity so it makes it look more realistic. Um, I'll just quickly show you how to do that in Photoshop, it's pretty straightforward, there's a built-in filter for it. So if you want to create a normal of any UV map that you've created for Blender, you just go up to filter and you click on 3D and generate normal map and you click on that and it will open up this generate normal map and essentially it's it's kind of generating the amount of detail and the, the blur on it and you just click on OK. Um, big mistake I've done here of course is I haven't merged my image so I'm just going to undo and go back because um, in order to do it correctly we do need this to be merged as a single image and then I can apply correctly the normal map. It's a bit outside what I wanted to do for this tutorial but quite a good thing to know. So there's my bump map, hit OK. Um, what's quite important is when we save it we go file save as and we give it make sure it's a PNG file and we make sure it's normal. So I've already got my normal map there I'll just save over that and replace it with this normal map and click OK um, and I'm just going to close this without saving it um, which gives me the um, complete Photoshop file if I make some mistakes with it. So this is just preparing the files that we need to work in Unity with. So I've got my normal map and I've got my container bump map and as we know from Blender the way that we take files into Unity is that we export. So file export and we export as FPX. So um, what I'm going to do is just go to my buildings folder, open it up so you can see I've got some um, files here and I'm just going to save it as shippingcontainer.fpx. I'm not going to change anything else here and click on e export fpx and what that should do when I go back and check my project folder is I will have a shippingcontainer.fpx file here which is a file which I then take into Unity to um, apply material to and make it all work. So this is the stuff that we've been doing in Blender. Hopefully you've been able to unwrap a UV to a single image and even had a go at creating that normal file I've talked about. Um, just while I'm talking about files at the moment, your file structure is really, really important. So what's really critical here is that we have our Blender files and we also have our, our FBX files, which are these ones here. And then in our textures folder, we have the 
PNGs of the texture map and also the normal if you're going to work with it. I've also got the Photoshop PSD just in case I need to make some changes to the model which I've had to do a couple of times so I always like to keep a copy of the PSD as well but it's really the normal file and the UV map which I'm going to be using inside Unity to texture up the object. So that's, that's setting up a file structure where I've got a folder here on my desktop called Buildings which I'm going to put the um, project folder into and then I've also got a Unity dystopian Unity environment folder set up because file structure is really really critical for the next step to do when I um, open up Unity to work with. So I'm just going to open up Unity. It's it's probably going to look slightly different to the version you have because I'm working on a Mac rather than a PC and I'm working on a very slow Mac so it might take a little bit of time to open up but essentially I'm just going to set up a project file through my Unity Hub. So I'm going to create a new file in this version. It's going to ask me what to do. I'm doing a 3D one. I'm going to just navigate to the folder that I've made on my desktop which is called Unity Dystopian Environment and select that folder. And I'm going to give it a name and I'm just going to describe it as we're doing here. So we're going to do um, texturing assets in Unity. So you get a good idea of what we're doing and I'm just going to hit on create. And in Unity I'm not going to do anything spectacularly difficult. Essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, import or place the image files that I want to work with into some folders in the Unity file. Then I'm going to go into Unity and drag them onto my workspace and then apply the material to it. So there's a few steps to do. Um, as I said, my Mac is working pretty slowly, but um, here we have a new Unity project opened up. There's a couple of things which appear in a sample screen scene. So we've got the main camera and directional light, which you can see there. Um, and then down towards the bottom of the project, we have our assets folder and we have a thing here called scenes. So we don't need to worry about that. But what we actually do is we start to place content into our assets folder, which we can then use inside Unity. And to do that, we can import things. Or another way that we can do them is I'm just going to go out to my finder. Or if you're working on a PC, it will just be on your, your file explorer. And I'm going to go to desktop going to click on dystopian unity environment here's my project test texturing assets in unity and you'll see it's got an assets folder here so one of the the beauties of working unity is that we can just copy and paste our assets which i've made like the fbx file and the images file directly into the assets folder here um, and they will appear automatically inside unity and i'll just demonstrate it. i'm going to make a new folder here and it's going to be called buildings or shipping containers and I'm going to make another folder here and I'm going to call it materials so the materials are the things that we add to um, the building so a material gets placed on a building but of course just like blender a material is completely empty until we add a texture to it so I'm going to create one more folder and I'm going to call it textures and essentially what I need to do is I need to just copy and paste the two textures that I've got for the shipping container. So that's the UV map and the normal map. And I also need to copy and paste the FBX file into this buildings folder. So this is kind of the file structure you need to work with. So I'm just going to open up a new finder window so you can see how it works. I'm not going to drag and drop because if I drag and drop, I'm going to um, drag the original file over. And um, if you delete things from Unity, it tends to delete them forever. So I've got my shipping container FBX here. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to come to my buildings folder here and I'm going to paste it. And then we'll put the FBX file in. And if I just quickly click back to Unity, you should see that the folders I've made have appeared here. And if I click open on buildings, it's actually got my shipping container in there and it shows the material and the, the object which um, created it. So I've done half of what I need to do here. I've brought in my FBX file into the buildings folder. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the normal map and the UV map into my textures folder. And I'll go back to my finder to do that because it's probably the most effective way 
to do it. So I've got assets and I've got textures, so I need to get those two files there. So I just go back to my other finder window so you can see it a little bit clearer. So if I go to buildings and to textures, again it's a lot of it's a lot of um, clicking and file management, but it's really important. And I'm going to copy these, really important you copy them. And I'm going to paste them over into the folder, which is in my Unity um, Assets folder under Textures. So I should have two textures here. And again, if I just come out here to Unity and go to my Textures folder, you'll see that those two files have appeared. So you can use your Finder or, or Windows Explorer a lot of the time to bring content in. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring my building, my asset, into the Unity scene. And I can do that just by opening up the folder and just dragging and dropping it. There's my shipping container. Um, at the moment the shipping container is just kind of that blank grey shape. So what I need to do now is I need to actually create a material for it. So I'm going to just go to my materials folder and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go create and I'm going to choose material to create and the material I'm going to create here is going to be called shipping container. So it's a little bit like Blender in which we create a material and then we apply it to an object. And because we only have a single um, UV mapping file to work with, it's really simple to do it here inside Unity. So I've created the material, then we come up here to the top right, and there's two things we want to work with. There's the normal map, which we talked about, which is kind of that blue um, image, which was generated from the UV map, and there's this thing called albedo, which is the actual image that we bring in. So I'm going to click on the little circle on albedo. It's got select texture here. So you'll see here already it's got shipping container UV map because Unity is clever enough to look inside a folder called textures to look for any textures to use. So just double click on that and you'll see that the shipping container um, texture has been applied and then I can go to normal map and do the same thing. Choose container normal and double click on that. And what the normal does is it gives it a um, little bit more depth and texture to what you're doing. You notice up here I've got a little, um, this texture is not marked as a normal map, so if I click on fix now, it'll actually make that change and fix that. So the final thing I need to do now to actually have a fully textured model inside Unity is I just need to drag my material and just drop it on my object, and there it is. And if I scroll around, and I'm going to scroll badly because um, Unity's scrolling works slightly different from, from um, Blender, which, which I'm most used to. You can actually see I've got my object in there. Um, I want to make it a little bit smaller, so I'm just going to go to my scale tool and I'm going to just scale it down so it's a bit smaller. And you'll see it's appeared here inside my sample scene, so there's a hierarchy of objects here. If I want to duplicate it, so I want to have multiple um, shipping containers, I can just right click and hit duplicate and I'll have a second one which I'll just move this time, I want them to stay the same scale but I'm just going to move it out. So in my dystopian city I could potentially start to create a shipping container wall or something like that or um, I've seen some people using shipping containers as an example of um, like a dystopian future, I'm just going to make this a little bit crooked so you can see here how I can start to build assets um, together fairly easily inside Unity once I've got the material on. So just to reiterate what I've been through we have our model in Blender, we have a UV map which is a single image which is applied to the model. In Photoshop we generate both a UV map and a normal map which um, I've closed by now then we open up Unity, and the important thing is that we create folders, and we just do that in our um, File Explorer or Finder, and into those folders we drag the FBX files into my Buildings folder, and into my Textures folder I drag the UV map and the normal map which I've generated, and I make materials in the Material folder, which I then apply just by dragging and dropping onto 
the object on the screen. And it doesn't really have to be any more difficult than that.